Hello, welcome. I'm doing something different today. Well, this is actually going to be like a regular thing that's going to be on my channel. It's going to be updates, celebrity updates. I have not came up with a name yet, but I will soon. It was going to be was good in Hollywood. <laughs> but I feel like that's just I don't know how I feel about that name. But um so it is official. After 8 months of dating, Ariana Grande and Big Sean are over. It's official. They're over. It's not because of Justin Bieber. Let's clear that out because we all know what happened during Ariana Grande's honeymoon tour. Justin Bieber was invited to perform a duet with Ariana Grande to sing Love Me Harder. And then out of nowhere, he got a little crazy surprising her because you could tell by her face she was not ready for that. He was all up on her and then Big Sean in the crowd looking like... <laughs> and he had a lot to say about that as well. Supposedly went to Twitter saying wow and supposedly threatening Justin Bieber saying this kid better not touch my girl like that. Believe that. So it turns out those allegations were wrong. He did not tweet that. It was a fake Twitter or something. It was a hacker. It was not true. Their breakup has nothing to do with Justin Bieber. They actually made a decision to part ways due to the fact of their conflicting tour schedules. So, and they felt like they wasn't going to be able to see each other while they're on tour for the next year. So that was the reason why they broke up. But it is told that they both do care about each other deeply and they will remain friends. Aw, now isn't that cute? Can we all just clap for, even though we want them to get back together. Now we can get back to Justin Bieber. Now, one thing that I don't understand, Justin Bieber is literally, <laughs> literally ranked the fifth most hated man in the US. First off, this movie was not a man. He's still a boy. <laughs> so let me stop. But, and I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere that he was number one. Above Hitler. Above Hitler. But that could have been a scam. I don't understand it. I'm a believer. I love Justin Bieber. I mean, I know that he's insane. My thing with Justin Bieber, I feel like he's just, he has so much freaking money. He's definitely like one of the... He's up, like, he's one of the most famous, I don't know, of this era, like, famous pop stars out there, and, and he just has so much money, and he's bored, and he doesn't know what to do. I feel, I honestly feel like what he's going through is a stage, and it's, it's all gonna blow over, but, yes, I'm a believer, but I do not condone the stuff that he does like spinning on your fans that's fucked up justin come on don't do that they're the people who love you they're the people who's giving you the money that you making like without them you're nothing okay so if you spit on me we're gonna have a problem <laughs> and i because i was watching i watched a video that was on youtube and it was like all the things that justin bieber had done like all the bad things that he's done and he ran someone over Justin, <laughs> come on. So it's like, I can kind of understand. I want to do something, let him have fun. I mean, you want to fuck up and stuff while you're having fun, whatever, you're just going to fake. And I don't understand why, when you look on YouTube, and if you look up Baby, I love the song Baby. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but if you look up Baby, that's literally... I think one of the most disliked videos on you. That, that's not even a bad song. With fans comes haters. So, Justin Bieber, you, I believe that you will grow out of this phase. You're going through a phase. And I feel like it's just a phase. You'll learn someday. Probably somebody going to fuck you up. <laughs> or something. Whatever, Justin. Keep doing your thing. Another thing that I want to talk about, because you guys already know how I feel about Dylan O'Brien. Like, I'm clearly obsessed with him. <laughs> it's like that. But I'm clearly obsessed with him, and I love him. And it's a possibility that he will be cast as Spider-Man. I really hope so, because if they do, I will pay to see that movie so many times. Because who doesn't love Spider-Man and then you got Dylan O'Brien. Although, it does seem as though they are stuck 
between Dylan O'Brien and Logan Lerman, but uh, I mean, Logan Lerman, he's cute and everything too, but come on, Dylan, Dylan, he's playing the right for the part. Give it to him. Now, the last thing that I'm going to be talking about, ugh, I don't even understand why you kids are doing this. The Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Okay. Now, Kylie Jenner, it's no doubt that she got lip injections. <laughs> like, there's no doubt about it. But they fit her. It looks nice. She looks beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. She's gorgeous. She got style. She just, she's definitely doing her thing. And now, I guess people are trying to imitate her voluptuous, ew, I don't want to sound crazy, her lips by, they literally, this is what they do. Take a shot glass, they suck, so <laughs> they put their lips into the shot glass, whatever, I guess for like five, ten seconds, I don't know, and just, and then they got these big, dirty, <laughs> <Doubles>, I do. <laughs> And they look really crazy, and it's really disgusting, must I say. Like, and I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't know about this until, honestly, this morning. Because I went on Twitter. I mean, I heard about this challenge or whatever, but I didn't really pay no mind. I didn't look at any pictures. I haven't been on Twitter in a while. But this morning, I got on Twitter, and, like, I seen... I don't even remember what drew me to it. But I was like, you know what? Let me just put hashtag Kylie Jenner challenge. And it was just so many videos of so many kids doing it. And it was... Honestly, like, I was not expecting what I saw. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be a little thing, but it was really like, Marjorie. <laughs> crazy. It was crazy. But I don't see why these kids are doing it. It's disgusting, one thing. And it's also been told that it's dangerous. It can lead to permanent disfigurement. So it's just like, and then it's like, when you actually look, if you watch the videos or, like, anything, the aftermath, they'll have, like, these red patches over their mouth. And then it's just like, as you see that, you're like, oh, I don't want that to happen to me. So it's just like, why are you still doing it? <laughs> I don't get it. But yeah, at least the permanent disfigurement. And if you keep doing it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people who was doing it is not going to do it anymore because their lips look real crazy. Also, Kylie Jenner actually has something to say about everyone mocking her or doing her thing and what her tweet said I'm not here to try and encourage people slash young girls to look like me or to think this is the way they should look and continue she continues by saying I want to encourage people slash young girls like me to be yourself and not to be afraid to experiment with your look so basically she's just saying be yourself don't try to look like her even though she don't look like somebody else, she not being herself with her lip injections. But I ain't saying that because it made her look better. Girl, do you? If you got the money, I mean, ain't nobody stopping you. So yeah, that's about it that I'm going to be talking about today. And just tune in next week if you want to see what else I'm going to be talking about. Any hot topics. Hopefully something new comes up. See you later. Deuces.